Hello, so we're back again. It's uh, day 22 of the painting challenge and uh, I started on uh, this week's oath with, which was to paint up the quartermaster and his uh, retinue. <clears throat> so uh, if you remember this quartermaster was uh, actually grey when I started but now I painted him up uh, to match the green of my army. So uh, the uniform is uh, pretty much painted as uh, the rest of the army. It's got a some very nice detail, the skull face mask and the, and the rib cage uh, breastplate is an awesome detail. And the, just the pose where he's pulling up his uh, pistol from the holster. I opted for a red cloak just to make him pop a bit more on the battlefield and make him a bit more visible. Uh, added some script work to the purity seals here as well. And uh, apart from that he's pretty much done like the rest of the... Uh, army. Uh, turn him around again. You get him from the front. A really great model, and uh, pretty much finished like that. Some few details to uh, add, but uh, he, he's ready to put on the gaming table at least. So onwards to the rest of his squad. Uh, Today's question was uh, what the army do you think is most need of an update, rules wise or models wise? I'm not uh, too uh, updated with the fantasy stuff so I'm gonna leave that uh, to those uh, of you that uh, actually play it. And I'm gonna go for 40k instead and uh, then I have to say uh, Sisters of Battle. Not only are uh, females uh, very rare in uh, the 40k universe, uh, the persistence of battle uh, is the only army as far as I know that uh, is actually based around uh, female warriors. Which is quite a strange notion. Even in today's armies there are plenty of women serving so why wouldn't there be in the, uh, in the 40k universe? Really strange. Uh, and why don't Games Workshop take care of their uh, only female uh, warrior army? It's been a long time since they updated uh, anything with them. They, they, there was an update in White Dwarf a while back. But before that there was a long gap before uh, to their uh, latest actual codex that they got. Miniatures uh, feel very dated, there are some of them that uh, looks uh, okay, some of them that actually looks uh, very nice and some of them that looks, uh, plenty of them that looks pretty crap. Uh, there's not even a 10 man squad as I, far as I could see on the homepage, so if you want to buy a Sisters of Battle army it will be incredibly expensive. Uh, they only sell the sisters in a three, three pack uh, blister, and they are like uh, tactical marines. So, I suppose you want uh, 10 man squads uh, of sisters, or perhaps uh, uh, 5 man squads, but buying them like that is, is pretty much double the price of uh, just uh, doing a tactical squad for Space Marines, for example. So, they need plastic uh, troops, and they need more. Di differentiated uh, uh, units as well, more units to choose from to make them interesting. So, uh, yeah, Games Workshop, get your uh, shit together and update the Sisters of Battle. It can't be that hard. Uh, the concept of the army is uh, just begging you to be used for something great. And uh, they could make some really awesome models for the army. Well, that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna spend the day probably trying to fix the car that broke down. God damn it! There's a lot of uh, uh, miniature money going to go into fixing the car instead. So I'm not sure how much painting I will get done tomorrow. But uh, as always, you will have an update, and we'll just have to see what's getting done. So have a nice uh, evening, everybody, or day morning whatever it is have a have a cup of coffee or uh, tea on me and i will see you uh, tomorrow bye